Good morning, everybody. This is, I guess, video number one of my start with pneumatics. I am doing my pre-trip. I'm on the yard here in Little Rock. I've been running locally down to um, a place called Almatis, which is in Boxite, Arkansas, B-A-U-X-I-T-E. It's 26 miles down the road. We're taking some kind of an aluminum powder, gritty stuff. I don't know what it is. I'm not a scientist. Out of these silos that you see on the yard here at Oakley often. And we're just running uh, trip after trip, three to four a day. I'm going to do my walk around here, just inspecting everything. And the blower unit was finished up and installed. Here's the exhaust canister. I guess that's what that is. I still don't know all the nomenclature, so cut me some slack. Okay, but uh, again, just doing a quick walk around. I've already done one and uh, trying to make sure that I am good to go for the day. But the pneumatics life has started and I gotta tell you guys, I, I enjoy it, it's pretty cool. But we're gonna get ready to roll here and I'll try to get some video of the unloading today to get that out, but it's gonna be very noisy. The blower is very loud and you're not gonna be able to hear much, but you can watch. And actually what I'll try to do is block out the noise and reduce that volume in the video and do a voiceover if I can. <clears throat> so I can kind of explain what's going on as me as a novice understand it. So, hey, you guys have a good morning. Stay tuned. Going to be a lot coming up after this. Appreciate y'all watching. All right, Jimmy's Road Life, pneumatics. Here we go. Have a good morning. currently set up at Almatis and Bauxite. This is the operating side of the trailer. You'll notice the gauges. The one on the left is the tank pressure. The one on the right is the line pressure. The line pressure regulates the amount of product that we're moving into the silo or the location that they're storing the product. The valves that you see on the bottom control the amount of flow coming out of the tank in each individual hopper. This is your main airline. These are your main operating controls for the main lines. The blower unit is the silver can with the line coming off of the top. And that works its way back to the main line and pushes the air back through the trailer, moving the product out of the trailer and up into the silo. I am back on the yard in front of the big white silos here at Oakley. We're running out of this silo all week long, taking this product over to Almatis, again, the place that's over in Boxite down the road. And we're getting three to four loads a day. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. Let me show you this real quick. Back over here, you guys can see the tug the river boat on the river and what a beautiful sunrise isn't that pretty wow thanks lord so 
it's about 36 degrees it's kind of cool but yeah it's a nice morning but we get about three of these loads a day which is great for me trying to learn because it's repetition and almost everybody that comes into pneumatics is going to do this for three four days to somewhat learn the systems which i am learning again for me it's all about understanding the engineering of the trailer and once i understand the why behind the what like why does this do this and what needs to do this then i can get a good picture in my mind and it makes it a lot easier to understand the operation of the trailer and troubleshoot and work efficiently even though i am novice at this but i'm looking forward to it i'm excited about it and i think it'll be a very good fit for me and the way that i am okay i'm more of a numbers guy some of you might know i like details and this is very numbers with the gauges and detail intensive so cool i'm looking forward to it i'm having fun with it already uh, on a sour note I've got to take my truck out in town here. I have a new steering box and a new power steering pump ordered for the truck. Um, the truck is safe. I certainly wouldn't be operating it if it wasn't, but I feel that I need to replace that. And uh, yeah, gosh, I have a $3,000 expense coming, I think on Tuesday when the parts come in. Shout out to a fella here in town called Wayne that has Wayne's World Truck Repair. He used to work here at Oakley. Now he has his own shop because if I took it to Kenworth, I don't even want to know what it would cost and when they would get me in. God, probably close to four or $5,000. So thank heavens to him. He's going to get it probably either Monday or Tuesday when the parts come. And then I'm going to get over and get, again, the steering box, the front shocks, and the power steering pump replaced. And then I'm gonna load, start heading to the house. I'm gonna be home Friday. Have a doctor's appointment a week from tomorrow, a uh, week from Monday, today's Sunday. And then when I come back out, which will probably be the Wednesday after, I'm gonna stay out through all of February and until uh, I get back to uh, the first week of March. And I'm gonna revert back to my original schedule where I'm in gunshots. It must be duck hunting. I hope it's duck hunting. I hope it isn't somebody over here in town capping somebody. But I'm going to revert back to my original schedule where I'm home the first week of the month, whichever week has the first Monday. I think it's going to be more efficient and profitable for pneumatics the way they operate. So it's fine. I'm cool with that. I kind of like it. It'll work out okay. So I'm going to get up here and I'll show you guys. Get these rails up. Turn that lever. You guys look up top. These handrails are going to come up. There they go. Provides a safety. I got to go up there and move up some lids. I'm going to do that now. I just opened up number two and number four. I'll show you guys. So here's number four. Up there is number two. And I'm clearly up on top of the trailer. And so here I have the number two hole open. Number one is up there. Right here is number three. And what they do is they take the chute that's inside there and they just literally drop it right down in and fill from right there. So works out pretty good. Kind of dark down in there, you can't see, but just a big hole, big tank. Got some holes in the bottom, some holes in the top. Got a pressure line and it pushes some products. So, but Look at this from up top. We'll do a quick 360 of the yard up on top of the pneumatic. What a beautiful day. Isn't that awesome? Wow. Man, sometimes the Lord just blesses us with another beautiful morning. Man, I love morning. Morning's my favorite time. Fresh hot cup of coffee. You know, I do hit a five hour every day. I'm not going to lie. And all that. So it's great. And here's a look out over the yard. Nice and slow. Trucks lined up. Trucks parked for the weekend. The new headquarters back here. Again, the silos here for actually mostly Almatis and Bauxite, what most people run out of here. And uh, just a 360 of the yard here in Little Rock. And again, drivers lined up, either taking a 34 or here for the weekend. So, hey, we're going to get ready and rock this. Catch you guys soon. The fellow that's loading, 
just showed up to work. Is that it? Just showed up. Is that is that right? All right, he just arrived. How's that? He arrived at work. He's probably getting ready to clock in, and we're going to get at it for number two today. All right, catch you guys later. Bye-bye. It is Tuesday morning here in Little Rock. Back behind me is the fertilizer barn. I am in line at the silo, and you'll see there's a number of trucks. Me, the gentleman training me, Mr. Dynamite, there's another fellow there, and then Gerald is in the silo now. They ran out of product last evening. I was the last one to get loaded for a trip this morning and nobody was able to preload last night for today so that's what everybody's in line for i'm going to walk over by the barge and i'm going to show you how they load this stuff into the fertilizer barn which is behind me here so let's take a little trip as you can see they're in line at the silo here's the overhead conveyor that goes in. Let's take a look back here. We're walking and this fella is offloading the barge with this, I don't know what it is, white powder. Again, I'm not a scientist. I'm not going <laughs> to even speculate. It's some kind of white powder they use down where we're going. They bring it in by the barge load. So I'm walking towards the river. And you can see that there's a number of barges here. But I'm just going to kind of casually walk without walking near the edge and show you that. All right, let me spin around. He's taking it off of the barge with the clamp. He's got the big clamshell clamp. And he's taking that up, dropping it into that hopper right there. And then that hopper is carrying it up and into the barn. And then the barn is running it up the conveyor into the silo and then down into our trucks so it's a very efficient operation from what i understand they can actually empty out one of these barges 
and just a little over an hour with that clamshell. It's amazing. I didn't think they could do it that quickly, but they certainly can. And if you guys remember me saying in a previous video, Bruce Oakley owns, I think it's 23 of these tugs and roughly 23 to 25 and 250 of these barges. So they have a very large river operation. Just a few podcasts ago, Jeremy Kellett had one of the riverboat captains on and Jantran is the name of the barge company, but here he is dumping the powder into the hopper. He must be waiting for the hopper to empty so he doesn't overflow it. But he's dumping that in the hopper and again it's going up the line into the shed and then from the shed it's going up the line into the silo and then from the silo it's going into our truck What a beautiful day here in Arkansas. Look at this sunshine. It is it's about 75 degrees out. I was out back getting some hoses for my trailer, getting it prepped, because uh, I'm gonna be heading out of here tomorrow to load my first real world load on my own. I'm excited for that. And I've got to go back and make a couple of hoses because I need a short one uh, that's about probably eight feet long and that'll fill my tubes. But uh, it's gorgeous here. As you guys seen previously, I was running the whatever that is out of these silos. I'm done with that now. Uh, tomorrow morning, my truck is going to be in the shop right out in town here. I have to get some front end work done on it. Uh, replacing uh, the steering box, the power steering pump, and the front shocks. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. Uh, so notice some wobble in there, some issues that the truck was safe to drive, but I just thought it better to go ahead and replace that since the parts are in and the gentleman out in town has a very good reputation with Oakley drivers and get it done here. And it worked out great since I was working locally, running the tanker loads right down to box site while I was learning some of the processes. So that's cool, gonna get that done. And then I'm on the road. I gotta head home this weekend. I have a doctor's appointment on Monday. But then when I come back out, I'm going to be out on the road for a while, uh, probably about four weeks, maybe five, and I'm going to shift back to my previous schedule out the last three weeks of the month and back in for the first. But right now, the truck and trailer are getting washed. The trailer is getting a wash out, and that's new for me other than a dump trailer washout, which is rare. But these guys are taking care of the tanks up on the inside and getting it cleaned out and ready for the next load. So when I'm done, I'm going to go down on the other side and dry it out. Uh, that'll be the first time I've done a dry out solo. So I'm going to try to remember all the steps and procedures. And then I need to get the trailer into the shop, which you see my previous videos is over here on the opposite side of back here the shop the wash bay because I need to get a valve replaced in my number one hopper tank whatever you want to call it so I'm going to get that knocked out so hope you guys enjoy hope you've enjoyed these videos as I am new to the pneumatics world and we're going to get this party started this is new for Jimmy and Jimmy's road life again if anybody is interested in Bruce Oakley hit me up my emails are embedded in the video somewhere normally at the beginning and end and I'm using a new editing software, so it won't look the same as my earlier videos. So I'm still trying to figure out how to get those in. But it's Jimmy's Road Life, L-Y-F-E, at gmail.com. God bless you, everybody. I really appreciate you watching. And again, if you're interested in Bruce Oakley, email me, hit me up. I'll be happy to help you in any way that I can. And please remember to like and subscribe and comment if you can.
Thank you very much. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.